Hello and welcome to part two of our Singleton event series, uh, weekend, the weekend event series. So more Singleton, it's the weekend, let's rock and roll. Is my camera crooked? Ah! Not like this, not like this. Not so much ceiling, more CGB. There. There. <laughs> If I leave it in, it's because I hope it adds some personality. Let's get right into the games. If you, I'm still buzzing. Um, it was, I ran and got a beverage to use the bathroom. After that, well, the end of that part one, if you haven't seen it, go check out part one. Oh my God. And uh, let's go get some more. Excited to keep playing our little Five color, but really teamer. It's teamer with just a few little splashes. Energy list here in the singleton world. It's taken, it's it's turned out so far to be a harder to play than I would have ever expected, which is a pleasant, I wouldn't say surprise. It's just a pleasant thing. I'm, I'm not upset. I'm not upset to have to play some hard games. It's actually uh, refreshing after I feel like I've played most of the decks in standard over and over again and i feel like i've had a lot of non-games but the singleton uh, games have been pretty grindy pretty difficult and i feel like there's a lot of uh rewarding of making good plays even if i haven't always made them yeah attacking for zero love it hmm i think we'll play out our cub try to make a good threat out of this creature between our Exclusion Mage and our Braid, maybe we can get it to get uh, to our opponent, make us some energy. Our opponent has a what we would call a priority hold up here, a, a, a sticky, a card that slows the game down uh, over here, Remorseful Cleric. It can respond to anything. Ooh, our opponent with a 1, 2, 3, monocolor Prepare curve and singleton. Yourself. And it you continues no to appear power. that I'm the only person who doesn't like mono decks and singleton. Maybe not the only person, but I've seen so many mono-colored decks, I'm a little blown away. So, it's tempting to play out the Marvel and just get that cooking. It's also tempting to use the Exclusion Mage. There's definitely an argument for playing Marvel when... For playing the Marvel when we can use it. And we can also Glimmer this turn. Which can make our cub unexpectedly large and help us make sure that we play a glory bringer next turn by finding an untapped land and i think i like that idea so i'm just going to pass and we'll see what gideon does if gideon wants to attack and be aggressive gideon may fall to a glory bringer along with one of our opponent's creatures of course that requires a land in the top four. Oh no gideon's going to be defensive Johnny's pride mate will join the field. No life gain in sight at the moment, but always a card you have to wonder about. Could get out of hand if we let it. Of course, exclusion mage means it's probably okay. All right, let's glimmer. Nissa and harness lightning. I hate to do it, but I probably need to bottom the Nissa. Let's view the battlefield. Well. I could keep it and just hope to draw land. It is a very strong 5-drop and pressures Gideon very well. I'll keep it. I'm going to play it a little loose here. Because if I don't draw the land, then we're just kind of slogging through multiple turns dealing with Gideon. But I don't feel like we're falling too far behind. That's fine. So we'll play you. We'll keep our Harness Lightning and our Braid available. We'll pump our energy count more. And we'll end the turn. Does mean we'll have five mana next turn. But let's see what Gideon wants to keep doing. Okay, there is definitely a good target for our removal. I think that's going to eat in a braid. There are other options. Like getting to crucial mana for the marvel i don't like that 
This also isn't a bad exclusion mage tar target, excuse me, because it eats all the opponent's energy. The cleric might be annoying if I ever want to scare of God, but other than that, I don't believe I care about the graveyard. Yep, we're going to use the abrade, take out the angel. One less angel in the world. Every time you tap a mountain, an angel loses its wings. And now Glorybringer can take out you, hit, or just not exert. That's fine, too. Uh, Nissa could throw a 5-5, five five, but that would just get chump blocked. I think having the airborne flyer is a good idea. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to exert here. So that untaps next turn. Music absolutely dies in arena sometimes. I really, I'm a person who needs music in my in the background to feel comfortable, or else I almost feel compelled to fill the space with talking. But maybe that that's probably what you come here for is the talking. All right, opponent finds the land so that they can do the cast down just in time, and then the music's there. Yep, That's Gideon's enough. still climbing. Really? Well, our opponent's going to regret that one, I think. Attacking with the Snubhorn Sentry. I'm no blocks, though. I don't really want to trade or just... Like, I could use energy to absorb the damage. This wouldn't deal damage because of Gideon, but I'm going to need my energy for other things. So we're going to jam this Nyssa and take out that Gideon. Behold, nature's Try to free our cub. The land fights for us. They might have thought our haste uh, damage was gone with that Glorybringer. But nope. Still alive. Fuck. Don't force my hand. It sounded like Gideon said a naughty word. Is that just me? Pretty sure Gideon went. Mm, bah. Gideon. Come on, man. I thought you were a scoutmaster like me. No naughty language. Yep. That remorseful cleric doing just doing the work of an army. All right, our opponent. Maybe they have a settle. That's a really nice draw. Tune with Aether, one of those banned cards. Just too good, I guess. Um, we have the Rupture Spire, so we don't need the Plains and we don't need the Swamp. Uh, another Mountain would be really nice. Uh, let's energy up. Let's go get that Mountain. Put that on the battlefield. We could make six mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. If we untap, oh, what would I do with it? I don't see it. Aetherworks Marvel is close to being effective, though, but into four mana. One thing I'm worried about any kind of settle the wreckage. In fact, doing anything into open mana, it's like, why? I could just play it different. Hmm. I guess a land for a land is fine, and the cub might just have to go. So let's see what happens if we attack with these cards. Harness the elements. Well, I'm pretty sure that Settle is still coming and that this is a trap to get me to use my energy, so I'm just not going to. Yep. If I had pumped my cub with the energy, I'd just be out more stuff I don't want to be out. 
All right, so we got some land. Damage, not really. Uh, now we can, I think, playing the Marvel is... Ah, the Exclusion Mage is fun. The Rampager is fine. Like, everything is very medium. Exclusion Mage still could have a better target in the near future. And I have this God Pharaoh's Gift, so I do want this Cleric gone, but and I don't have any creatures in my graveyard, so I might just try to force that. With the Harness Lightning. So yeah, we'll just end the turn. It's too bad, because I'd love to get more energy out of that Harness Lightning. But... Again, these games are more complicated than I would have expected. If I if I had just been told, you know, to make guesses about how this format would work out. But with so many individual card interactions, you have to memorize a lot more. Oops, mic punch. I didn't mean to do that at all. Um, you have to memorize just a lot more interactions. All right, let's throw the lightning at it. I'll sacrifice in response so that we don't get the energy, which is sad. But it's the right play, and I don't see a way around it right now. Okay, there's an energy generator. Bring him out! Do it. Do the work. All right. It's too bad because I w if I had drawn if I had known I was going to draw that, I wouldn't prioritize killing the uh, void void the, the uh, two one. The the but but the but it the porky pig, something like that. All right. Um. Rampager could go in there, but I think it's just gonna hang out. Rampager can hang out. What you got for a 5-5? Five, five? Bam. I think my opponent whiffed on that bugler because it would reveal what they got. So they must have whiffed. Angel of Sanctions. Oh, there we go. Something to Exclusion Mage. It makes them at least have to replay it and spend 5 mana the next turn. So that's not too bad. Throw the island at him. Uh, because we have more blue sources. And do I play the marvel before combat? This is gonna put me up to four. No. Still not quite where we're activating it yet. We'd hate to have Ixlan's binding or something like that happen before we can do that. If my opponent group blocks, it takes out an island. I mean it's what I call not great. Let my opponent keep a bugler. Yep. Land for turn, end turn. Angel Sanctions returns. Now we'll need a proper solution. Still don't have any creatures in the graveyard for the mighty God Pharaoh's gift. Ooh did it. Like a boss, we ripped that card. I will copy the Angel of Sanctions. I will take the Angel of Sanctions. Oh! Yeah, that scoop-inducing. Oh, Vizier of Many Faces. So many faces you do have. You have so many faces. I'm not saying I love all of them. Hey, we got a deck reward called Suit Up. I have to imagine it involves pants, but we'll look at that. Probably on the free-to-play account sometime, the young CGB adventures tailor-made for that type of deck.
Lord Coco. He runs the Coco tree. I guess. I don't know. Uh, with an Aether Hub. Oh, we got multiple ways to generate mana. We got Nissan turn three. Let's do it. The problem is if the only thing I use the energy for, the Aether Hub, is the Nissan turn three, I'm going to have to find another land quickly. That'll do. That'll do. Now we've got energy. First time drawing this, the Sage of Shalia's Claim. I always, I mean, it's an ugly little 2-1, which is not the kind of body you want in Constructed, but I think it's a little better than people give him credit for. And if you want the energy, it makes sure that you do have energy. Let's uh, send in our 2-1. Take damage. Our opponent might say no. They say no, I would not take damage eight damage which is fine because this lets us play our nissa on one all right though the answers are within my reach show me some lands that's a land that we want it enters the battlefield tap though but i think what if I just put it like this, and then we'll ramp and use the Nissa zero? And then we have a turn where we're like mana mana. It doesn't defend Nissa though. Well, we don't have to play the Caravan if our opponent plays a creature. If Nissa doesn't live, it's a little awkward. It's a slow developing hand, but it doesn't leave us in too much danger. Okay, so we'll go with Nissa zero. The elements will fight for themselves. And put out that land. And we'll put out this. Have good mana. Opponent giving us a Jeskai look. Somebody else playing three colors. Let's do this. Chandra off the top. Gross. Just thinking. All right, it's plus. I will cast out corruption. Green belt rampager. Eh, Vivian Reed. Eh, eh. Um, that said though, we don't have a body, and maybe a one mana body isn't the worst. Uh, actually, we can play it this turn, right? Yeah, we can play it this turn. That's good. Done. We got a deal. Okay, so we'll play colorless. That should leave a green. Yep. Here's our Chandra. Plus our Chandra. Yep. You're going down. And play our green belt rampager. The opponent will see none of it. All of a sudden the games are flying fast and furious. But yeah, the Nissa Scry setting up the Chandra Plus to get a green belt rampager to protect our two planeswalkers. That's what I'm talking about. So, who is game number six? We're at four and one. Um, I mean, I've got two removal spells and then I got two cards that I may never be able to cast and a third that I'm likely to cast uh, these two land on the draw on the play hands they just ruin me I've got to try for something with at least three all right I've got to keep it because it has at least three and the scry to the top don't really need or want that so we can go fetch for blue Cinder Barons, another multicolored deck. All right, Timber Gorge. Pretty sure this was just shown as the top of the deck, which usually means it's shuffled away, but then we draw it anyway. All right, Caravan. This is getting scary. We might just turn four Scarab God. Oh no, they might have a Braid though. 
Feels like an abrade. Yep, the one of abrade making its presence known. We're going to have to wait on that Scarab God. Opponent showing us the Grix. The Grixis. All right. What do you got for this? All right. Nothing yet. Do I want to use that energy and just go for beats? Probably. Bolus. Bolus is here. So I feel like I should discard the Scarab God because the odds of drawing the Black Source to play it are really low. At the same time, there's a lot of upside. A lot of upside. I think what I'll do is discard the Exclusion Mage as bouncing this Bolus, terrible idea. Land off the top. Plays Glory Bringer. And I think I'll just take the aggressive line. The opponent wants to trade. We don't want to exert it because this is a dragon. Um, exerting Glorybringer, it can't target a dragon. It can't deal damage to a dragon. And they're going to take the trade, which makes me think they may have a Scarab God or Liliana. In which case, we're talking about a standard uh, level, like a constructed standard Pro Tour level sequence of cards. Which, if that's the way it goes, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tip your hat. But so far, no, it's a Gonti. Gonti's a really great card that I love running in my black decks. And in Singleton, it's gotta be pretty fun stealing your opponent's bombs. Our opponent might, for example, take a Feldar Guardian, blink their own Gonti, and do it again. All right, I'm gonna use my energy here, try to get in some damage, even if it's not much. See what happens when we use this Rogue Refiner. Land. All right. So I'm really torn here. You, you, I don't want you to attack. That was a lie. I'm really torn here about whether or not to play this land. If our opponent has a way to get back the Bolas, I don't want to discard the Scarab God. But at the same time, I'm going to need my mana. These games tend to get really long. And having access to all the resources is a good thing. I'm just curious what my opponent took from my deck. Sometimes you never find out, though. That's usually the good games. The ones where they only got land. Hmm. Sure. Opponent likes their aggression, I think. I don't know. All right. Hmm. I'm tempted to blind flip on this Nissa. We're definitely gonna pay it, pay the full amount. So it's really tempting to just blind flip and try to get very, very lucky. But I'm not, I'm going to plus. My next move is clear. I wish mine were. Um, Meltdown can help me with the Gonti and make energy. And Walking Ballista is generally great. I'll keep these. And I'm just going to leave defense. Try to dissuade my opponent from attacking the Nissa. I imagine they'll have some removal spells. But I'm hoping they don't have a way to just reach out and kill Nissa. Okay, what they found was Sahili Rai. Took that from me. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. So what are they gonna do? I would I'd really want a minus on Ganti. Alright, they use Ravenous Chupacabra in that way. This has haste, so they get to attack with everything. So we'll throw a block and keep Nissa alive just barely. I will not back down. At a girl. You tell him, Nissa. Alright, this will be a, a good play for Walking Ballista, if it can resolve.
Alright. Remove one. Kill the Sahili Rai. I do not mistake grace for weakness. Use the let me if it is a land card or a creature card. So the zero is not gonna work with an enchantment. I wish I would stop forgetting things like that. Perhaps I should try this. Marvel. Seems like it could generate the advantage I need. And I still need a solution to the Gonti, so drawing the Meltdown... I still need the Meltdown, I think. Although, all it's doing is attacking the Nissa. Nah, I'll just take the Marvel. I don't think Grixis can get it off the field. Alright, end the turn. Yep, wait till that perfect end step moment to get your glimmer. feeling a removal spell was coming the way of the ballista. Our opponent will have to have something else to the field to check the Nyssa, but let's see. They may have found it. Because it just, do like, not frighten me. Gonti just keeps pace with it. Oh, search. That's a good card. Karn? It's good. It's good stuff. Good tools. Evil must not be tolerated. A curious choice. Um, you can have a compass. The world has shown me the way. Well, we've got our own Karn. Rupture spires. Make man of any color for the scared god. All right. Trying to play the long game here. We still have 18 life and we have to not panic. Our opponent's braid is spent. Well chosen. Hmm. Take that off. What are these stupid alerts coming through my Discord? I don't know if you can see them, um, but they're just popping up over here on the name. We've got to shut that down. That's what happens when you don't edit. Confiscation coup. Ugh, oh, embarrassing. Yeah, that's how I feel, Nissa. Please no. Please no. Alright, um, let's uh zero out Awaken. this. So at this point we need the scarab god to just come take over the whole game. I have faced worse than the choices we make reveal who we are. Well, those are good cards. I wonder what my opponent's holding their mana up for if they're not playing the compass. Good. 
good choice. Uh, yeah. Enjoy your land. Shove your disallow. So I will not be it. Your advantage is temporary. We can play bigger Nissa and smash into Karn. That means that Karn, if it minuses to get back the disallow, it's in danger from the Sky Sovereign. I don't know. It's an interesting spot. Also depends. Why isn't our opponent playing this compass? It's really making me think. Kind of strange. Let's see what happens. This will aid us. Well. I think the green is the one we animate because we have a lot more sources of green than anything else. Behold, nature's true power. So why wrote me so hard? Harness What's going the on? Elements. Does the opponent have their fatal push? Could be. Man, that is Kanta. I'm allergic summons. Oh boy. Acting unwisely. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna get so real. Oh, not going you for the disallow. I'm kind of stunned. You get an island. Summons, yep. Why are they holding the compass? What could it be? If they had a Verasca's Contempt, they'd play it. And there's been plenty of times where they were tapped low to the point that I was like, hmm. It's almost a net one mana because it flips right over and it can stop the Nissa land from attacking. So what's the deal? I have a Nissa ultimate available if we wish to grind. <sighs> so tempting. So tempting to take the grind. But I don't think that's the play. So let's start here. Let's go get the black. Take the black, if you will. Play that. There's five, right? Just checking. See if we can drop a sky boat. Take out the Ganti. It's all the questions, man. It's all questionable. Okay. Now, if I make a Karnstruct, it's not big enough to crew that, but I don't need to crew that right now. All right. Plus, launch a forest at you. The land shall conquer you. And I guess... Do I make a construct here? Well, let me see what my opponent does. That's the big question here. Whatever instant they want to use with their metallurgic summonings. Probably to protect their Karn, Scion of Urza. Oh, they're going to make a 1-1. One, one. 
How cute. They chose bottom. So they're just looking at a random card on top. It's Kanta and Metallurgic Summonings. Gross. All right. Do I want a Karnstruct? I think I do. I think that being on the board is going to matter here. I think applying pressure is my only way through this mess. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. And we get Bolus's clutches. Yeah, I'll, uh, I have to have a drink for that. But this doesn't trigger off an enchantment. Now's the time to get your disallow. Just saying. Gonti, Chupacabra, Bolus, Virtuoso, Rogue Refiner, Glory Bringer. Nature brings restoration. Okay. Gross. I mean, I have one card. Is my opponent really? putting shields down and not using summonings to bank on hitting my one card and it turns out to be the Scarab God. Feels bad. Feels feels very bad. Especially when I have a Sky Sovereign. It just doesn't make sense to me. What was lost is now returned. And now we get the disallow. Right? That, that at least makes a little more sense. I'd have done it first, in case I had a card in my hand that was useful. Um, okay. You want to counter that? Nope. Let's use this. Crew. If the opponent disallows the crew, we can make a car instructing crew anyway. So that can take out Karn and attack the Nissa. And our opponent has to chump block or they flip their bolus. Flipping bolus is scary. Is there a way to take out the bolus? I don't think I see it. Opponent's at 19. It's too much. Go up. Are you certain of your decision? What's it gonna be? So that's what he plans to disallow. All right. Obviously, Bolas can minus to just get one back, but if the opponent doesn't have an answer to the Sky Sovereign, it can take them out again, including Bolas. Your efforts are futile. I do not feel pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 
still on five energy here. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating that not only will our opponent gain a spin of the marvel, Do but they'll also kill our Karn. Let us talk of peace. So do I take their dissolve here and let them have a 3-3 as well? No, I don't. But we're way behind. We kind of need a lot of mistakes. We need a lot of things to go right. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Not even gonna spin your marvel? You definitely spin your marvel, right? Okay, that's enough for me. Ah! We played mid range, we ran into something more controlling. It happens. Made our energy cards look pretty mediocre for the most part. Made me wish I was playing more bombs. But we're not done yet. We're on two losses. We have made our money back, so there's not a lot to be regretting. Figuring out how to play Singleton right, it's like, how much time should you spend exploring the format? Are you supposed to just have fun? Because my tendency right away is to try to find things that are more effective. Okie doke. Doesn't look like a terrible hand. I do feel, I feel like I, the deck definitely is without tuning because so many of my hands have been awkward. It rarely feels happy. It's already the council's turn one. Go, kitty. Be a good kitty. Let's see if we can get this cat rolling for the first time ever. Never mind. <laughs> All right, land go. I'll have to rely on good old planeswalkers. Alexa, why on earth would you think I'm talking to you? I definitely did not say your name. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Sorry, Alexa. I'm not sure. Alexa, shut up. Go to sleep, please. Thank you. Jeebus. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I just don't want any pressure on my planeswalker, so away with you. Doesn't matter which mode we use, obviously. Start ticking them up. Our acts are convenient. An excellent choice. <laughs> Which one do you want me to have? Shocker. Good game. Um. All right. So, is my opponent saying they I don't? Advise that you yield. <laughs> They're saying that they can't do anything about Scarab God? Surely their deck has something to do with the Scarab God. I guess we can find out. The time has come. We're just gonna play it. See if the opponent has an answer. I'd love to get that scrap heap scrounger. They have a cast out or a binding. I think they would have played it on the Karn, but you never know. That's kind of my read for they don't have it, is the fact that Karn is still there. Okay. 
Vampire Neonate. Good choice. Have a planes. All right, give me your scrap heap scrounger before something happens. Before another creature dies. And I can't do this to it. Yeah, I'll keep you. Seems good. Main, let's plus the Karn. The choices we make reveal who we are. I don't know, give us the Voyager almost certainly. If they give us the Brawler, we can actually play it. But maybe they're thinking they don't have a way to block the Voyager. Well, they went with Voyager anyhow. Makes sense to me. Um, do we attack when there's like Seal Away and cards like that? Our opponent hasn't played anything like that. They might have a Settle the Wreckage, but I think I take my chances. We've got a lot more gas where this came from if our opponent does somehow have a a settle the wreckage, a seal away. We should discuss our differences. Right. Let's discuss our differences in the octagon. It's a very, it's an interesting list. We got Authority, Fatal Push, looks controlling, Karn. Then you have Scrap Heap Scrounger, and I don't know what to make of this Karn. Choice. It's like it's their pet. It's like they just keep the, their pet around for Vampire Neonate. So there's still a lot of things that could come out of this deck. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna see. Knight of Grace. checking graveyards out yep i'm really likely to just do another upkeep reanimate with the tracker or with the scarab god here Tracker's a little late won't get to exile anything before we get it the only creature here is the cub which i plan to exile on upkeep anyway for the scries and the drains it will make the scarab godding more difficult And opponent scoops? Okay. I do understand. They got Karned, then Scarab Godded. Life can be hard. <laughs> Volley Veteran. Righty. We got our fifth win. It's all gravy from here. It's all a little bit... This is an ex Like I said, first time playing the deck, learning the format. There's already some changes I would definitely make and different things I would try, but I'm excited to have five wins, have my money back, have some cards. By money, I mean gold, but hopefully that goes without saying. I go first, you say. It's good. It doesn't. It's not turn one Lanoir good. But it's turn three Karn good. So that's keepable. So we just have to make our first one the Rootbound Crag. The next turn we'll play Lanoir Elf in Highland Lake. And then the next turn we can play Karn if Lanoir lives. And if not, we have Rogue Refiner, which is still on the path to Karn. opponent with a turn one plane it's their name is four gideons are there four gideons you could get in this deck if you use the um planeswalker decks i don't think so i think you're at like two or three gideons tops but 
Our opponent's thinking four Gideons. I like the name. The names. I love good. I love funny card related names like that. That gets me every time for some reason. All right, Karn. Until you have, you may regret that choice. Hmm. Choices. Did you know that the choices we make reveal who we are? Just you know. Words of wisdom from I can't tell. Karn, the planeswalker, or some kind of an 80s song. Maybe something from Journey. Maybe Bon Jovi would say something like that. So they gave me a Vivian, not in a tune with the Aether, probably because, you know, band card. Must be great. Um but if they give me a land here, I get to play Vivian. So let's keep going up. If they give me an untapped land, that is. Well chosen. I mean, didn't choose yet, but yeah. Which broken stuff do you want to give me? Which ridiculousness do you want in my hand? The God Pharaoh's gift. Excellent. All right, let's bring out the Rogue Refiner. More banned cards. Banned! All banned! Banned dot deck. All right, combat. I guess, do I send in this elf? Farpoint has a seal away. Okay, they're going to play the Mind Sensor. That's interesting because the Attune with Aether... I'm going to go see if they just want to trade it. Because if they do, then there's no pressure on my Karn. It's just really funny because if, if they had given me a tune with Aether and I'd used it, they could have responded with Mind Sensor and a basic land would have to be in my top four. Which I think I only run seven. But yeah, our opponent's about to enter the world of Planeswalker spam. I like my spot. I like my spot a lot. Maybe not even. Maybe we'll just spam the Scarab God. Please stop. <laughs> ah, Karn. I love you. Such an optimist. All right. Uh, Vivian can blow up the history. Then our opponent's stuck with one knight. It's like a one knight stand. Um, there's so many options actually with this hand right now. Vivian might be the most powerful thing we can do. The minus to get the Scarab God seems smart in case Karn dies somehow. We wouldn't want to be without it. Decisive action is needed. Yeah, I got you, bro. Every fight makes me stronger. Now Feel this does mean the wrath of Scala. Mind sensor can take out the Vivian, which is sad. But I feel like I've got so much value in the hand. I'm not scared. It would have been cute if it would have been nice if I could have found a way to keep Vivian around more. But that history, making another 2-2 two -two and then making a big attack. Maybe I should have tried to find a better way to deal with that attack. But that constraint on mana, that's my big fear. Okay, what's Angel of the Dawn doing here? Flying Vigilance, when it enters the battlefield, creatures to control, plus one, plus one, and Vigilance. Okay. So, 3-2 three, and 3-3. Three, three. And, wow. It's gonna... That's gonna let Karn. That's gonna let both planeswalkers live after I chump with this rogue refiner. My retribution will be swift. I'm pretty surprised. All right, these turns, man. It's very tempting to do a walking Melissa so we can kill the mind sensor. Harness lightning or Chandra can kill Angel the Dawn. So how about harness on Angel, Ballista for two, remove one. Ballista token, kill the mind sensor. Then from there, we're just plussing. So let's start here. Are you certain of your decision? Before our opponent has any info. 
about what's going on this turn to make their decision based off of a little plus over here. Meet my newest friend. And we've got plenty of land at this point. Although if we take the black man, our scare of God is much more effective, am I right? Yeah. So I'll take the black mana. All right, our opponent's seen it. So we'll play that. Play the Harness Lightning. Take out the Angel of the Dawn. We could play the Chandra to take out the Mind Sensor as well, which is another way to do it. But I like the Ballista for the job. There might be something bigger that Chandra can take out. A Leonin War Leader, for example. And then we'll end the turn. Our opponent's stuff is dead. We have two Planeswalkers. This is where you want to be. This is the life. That's why the Super Friends decks get so much play. Opponents come prepared for creatures. There aren't as many cards when it's a singleton that can just reach over and kill a Planeswalker. You get one cast out, you get one seal. You get one Ixlan's Binding. You get one Vraska's Contempt. You get one Never to Return. You get one negate. You know, it's just, it's it's a lot harder to interact with those planeswalkers than it is creatures, where there's a lot of creature removal spells. They're all over the place. Could get the Hydra. It's a really good card. Also doesn't feel necessary. But neither does ticking up. Or we finders in the yard. We could play God Pharaoh's gift. And we have a walking ballista too. That doesn't seem terrible. Alright. We could minus to kill that harvester. With the Vivian. Hmm. I'll make use of that later. What's it going to be? Probably the Spires. I don't want to give I've up seen Vivian. That would break or, someone like you. I don't want to give up Vivian for the uh, Harvester. The, the question of which of these to take... I think it goes to the Sage because our hand's very expensive and we just want more things. All right, here we go. Opponents using the thematic compass. They're still gonna have to click through their priority because Harvester uh, so what's holding priority here is that you can pay an energy for lifelink. Apparently, even when it's not a creature, which I don't think I ever noticed before. Feels strange. All right, let's get back our our boy. The Rogue Refiner. So powerful, got banned. And let's move on that attack step. We're going to have so many cards in hand, we're going to have to discard. And discarding some creatures so that the God Pharaohs keeps rolling doesn't sound too bad to me. All right, two cards. I choose you. I do want another two drop, so I'll discard this land. And I like having the Sage because it generates more energy. I think the energy is more useful than the power and toughness here because we have lots of ways to use it. Maybe not on the board at this time, but I'm speaking in the deck, of course. Hydra is an example. Okay, compass flip. Whee! All right. Let's blow up that Harvester. Sometimes restoration means retribution. It cracks me up that she can just basically Katniss anything she wants to. 
Like, whatever she wants. Just hit it with that arrow, baby. It's good. You got it. Um, it's the best thing my co opponent could do, get a, like, a creature. Does that mean make Essence Scatter the play? Your patience is rewarded. I think I'll just get more threats. We'll just keep spamming threats until this game ends. One way or another. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems nice. You could also play a Nissa. Seems pretty good too. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Rise, my elemental friend. Bring this back, more energy, and it's a big old tramples. That's the other good thing about discarding it. The special ability of trample goes on it too. All right, all attack, but not you. That was a joke. Let's see if our opponent's thinking settle. Gideon's Reproach, huh? Okay. I don't see anything I can do. The Spires is probably planning to target this, but let's see what it targets. It targets the land. Okay. Don't agree with that. I can use it for mana now, so that would be a reason not to. Plus, I can make this a 5-5 Haste Trample. Yeah, that's gonna block over here. That's fine. I'm gonna remove a counter. Deal one up here. I can get the ballista back next turn with the Godfrey's gift if it's around. So green, colorless, and we'll play the sage. Energy still going up. We'll find a outlet for it, but possibly if the game doesn't end before then. Warding the Weatherlight, look at your top five. Pick a Historic, put it into your hand, whiff. <laughs> that's very sad. But that's a reason that I think people are off this card. Even in Historic decks, you can just whiff. Planeswalkers are Historic though, so maybe it should be in my Super Friends deck. But even then, it's like, just play another Planeswalker. You're, I'm five colors in that deck. I could play more Planeswalkers instead and not have to search for one. All right. Claimed. We're actually going for our seventh win. Hype. How exciting. We will have a chance at the full prizes. Who's our end boss? What will it be? And to think this all could have ended so long ago if we hadn't ripped that Sahili Rai. If you haven't watched that first video, sorry. But what are you doing? Go watch the go watch them in order. Part one, part two, guys. Come on. You know better. You know better. Hmm. Turn on Lanoir, but nothing to do with it. Sadness. Hmm. All right, I'm going to keep, and I'm going to find, like, my blue and red mana like a boss. <laughs> a lot riding on this elephant here in the crucial game. I just don't think that going to five will do significantly better. Rampage. I'm not getting inspired by the Rampage. Like, I, I don't see the Rampage in this elephant. That, that noise is too cute. Maybe it's all the trailers for Dumbo I'm seeing at the movie theater this year. Bingo. Not perfect. We need blue and red, so the sand just is actually even more awkward. 
If I could do the deck again, I would probably cut like the planes and just rely on ridiculousness to cast things like Felidar Guardian. Same thing with Scarab God here. As you see, it's just uh, mishmashed. I also don't know if the God Pharaoh's Gift really makes the cut. I felt like I've been doing a lot of wind mooring. Let's see if our opponent found something to deal with this elephant yet. What you got? Boom. The Sky Whaler's a shot. Hopefully we can make them regret that later with the Sovereign. Opponent playing slow white control, but an angel could come forth at any moment and change the paradigm. Yep. Mmm. Shanti. Seems nice. So I guess I need to play something that can crew it next turn. That doesn't stop the Lyra. Can trade with the Guardian. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. Well, that's something I can't think of. That's pretty good. Why isn't the opponent equipping it? I'd equip that. Seems like the right kind of pain, but maybe they have something else. All right, looks like the end boss is a clan of angels, and they have ind indeed done the job as yet another awkward draw. Got to figure something out for those awkward draws, my friends. We can probably do better, find more ways to smooth the deck out. Renegade maps and prisms, pentad, prism, whatever that card is called. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of changes I can't wait to make to the list. Uh, going out on sad note is kind of, well, we said it, sad. And now I'm on a black screen. I can't see my rewards. That's so rude. I can't even get my rewards? I'm just in black screen mode? Nope. Finally. Nope. Connection lost. What is this? Oh, the ultimate insult to injury. Why? I'm sure everybody would like to see the rewards. But, alas, I think I'll end the video there. I don't want to make you wait through it. Wait. Wait. What's this? Claim my prize. 800 gold. The Locust God. The Volcanic Dragon. The Hour of Promise. There. I think I did need my fourth Hour of Promise. Uh, put a bow on it. Call it a day. Thank you for watching this um, Singleton Weekend event. And I'll see you next week for more of the series that you know and love, the Young CGB, as well as the Tier 2, the Tribal Times, the Jank Tank, the Spikes Corner. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Later.